Hi, and welcome to this video of the first time switch on and start up of the HTC One X. We shall turn it on now. Go to the top and find the power button, it's on that side. Right, it's come on, it vibrated. And you've got the HTC logo, quietly brilliant, on the front. This is one of the first phones that comes with uh, Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich pre-installed, not as an option to upgrade. As you can see, this phone we've got from the Free Network in the UK. Uh, we got this on the One Plan, and it was £38 a month on a two-year agreement. Uh, as you can see, Beats Audio at the bottom, and the One, with the N spelt as part of the number one, and the rest of it to follow the N. Does seem to be taking a reasonable amount of time to turn on for the first time. Right, we slow up the default wallpaper. We've got no HTC Sense yet. Same again, this is one of the first phones to have HTC Sense 4.0. Okay, so we will slide to unlock it. At the moment it's telling us we've got no service. And it's the Friday the 2nd of Jan 1970. And obviously there's no signal. Okay, so we will slide to unlock. Okay, and we get to the first time setup. So we've got English United Kingdom. Um, we're going to use mobile data or Wi-Fi as the option. Uh, we're going to... Automatically sync data. Uh, we will go to our home. Okay, in terms of this, we're connected to our Wi Fi network. Uh, choice we want to sign in with a HTC account or create one. We're going to skip that option for now. And where we want to tell HTC about uh, improving their networks and their phones. We're going to do that so they can that's so we've ticked that. Um, Google locations allow Google to collect stuff when applications aren't running for locations for Google Latitude and Google Maps. And we'll consent to allow that to happen. I missed the button there. Do you want to be able to use my location? Yes, please. Right, Dropbox. We already have a Dropbox account. Okay, so we're going to sign that in. Okay, so we've signed into Dropbox. We're telling it we want to save photos. Right, it's telling us to get the 25 gig of free storage, we have to finish a wizard at dropbox.com the next time we sign in. We click next for that. Right, set up the accounts. Okay, we get an option now to transfer my stuff to a new HDC phone via Bluetooth. We're going to skip that as we uh, already have a HTC Desire that's synced with HTC Sync. So we'll use that to transfer the stuff later. Okay, current date and time. So we, as you can see here, this is the 5th of the 4th. We have GMT. Uh, I think that's wrong, isn't it? Yeah, it's summertime. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, let's just double check. So we put in when our nearest city is London. It's London. Okay, so it's at the same time, and it is 12.38. Okay, so that's fine. Press finish. It's loading. Right, 
Right, it gives you some options about the phone and HTC's typical uh, sort of character style. Uh, we got pull down to notifications, press and hold empty spaces to add winch and shortcuts, drag an app over another one to create a folder, drag your favorite apps to the launch bar to customize it. So we're just going to close that with the X in the corner. Show quick tips. Uh, Quick tips provide helpful information about your device for first time soon. Do you want them to be shown now? We're going to go no for that. And there we are. As you can see, we're currently in Winslow, so it's picked up the GPS location. Uh, all we're going to do is show you the different bars. We've got Friends Stream, uh, Welcome to HTC Mail, a blank page, uh, the Google search bar, camera, gallery, internet, and Gmail. Uh, options for toggles, so Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, Sync, and don't know what that A one is. Have to have a look in the manual for that. Uh, bookmarks, and that's it. Okay, so this has been the first time turn on and set up of the HTC One X. I will do a video review of this later once we have it all set up and working. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.